so yeah we're in a different location because it is so hot in my house i already tried to film this video upstairs and i literally like melted also this lighting is so uneven i'm so sorry holy shit better i think sorry this side's going to be a little darker because there's like windows and stuff over here and nothing over here yolo but uh, this is the only place that I can film without actually dying, so let's get into my project pan. I'll link previous updates down below, and let's start out with the one thing that I already finished up, which is this Mally powder. So I will also link down below the project that I actually use this up in, because I have this as my year-long project pan, but then I also just finished my um, Makeup Addiction RX project pan, which was a big collab, and this was also in that, so I finished it up there. I'll link that down below. So happy this was gone. The powder itself is fine but the packaging sucks like 75 dicks like my problem with it was you would open it up and if it does this right now and it falls on my couch I'm going to scream but yeah do you see that the powder that just went all over my leg so moving on to a couple of updates where you can't really see a ton of progress this MAC blush in giggly you can't see much change except for right around the edges here you can sort of see the like side pan start to show because it was like a baked blush or a mineralized blush so it was like curved and domed and uh, now it's it's definitely flattened out but just starting to see the pan is concerning there's also four grams of product in this I also have some progress on the hula bronzer but me being a dumbass left that upstairs so I'll just insert a picture here for you because I did manage to hit like actual pan and that big chunk of pan on the side that you see was the result of me poking a safety pin in there to see how deep it was and then it crumbled a little bit but I've also worked on that so I think my one goal with the hula bronzer is going to be to attach the like mid natural pan and the like artificial crumbly pan. <laughs> this also doesn't have much progress. This is the Uthermal Avene SPF. So this is where we were last time. This is where we are now. I will say though, this is using it like twice and I have been really bad about using sunscreen, which I need to get better at. But the days that I was outside for a really long time, like uh, building the shed outside and working on the deck and doing lawn work, like I did wear this. Nail polishes, I have two. So this is the OPI Did You Ear About Van Gogh. I didn't update this in the last update because I didn't use it, but I've used it about three times so far. Like that's two coats on my nails, one on my toenails, and we've got some pretty solid progress. I think... I could probably get this done in the next month because I've been really liking like a nude base and then putting sort of something sort of like shimmery over top or adding like a glitter coat to it. And then, ugh, I should not have been talking with my hands so much. This is the Formula X Color Correcting Base Coat. That's where we are. And because it is getting so thin, thick because it's so low and the brush doesn't get like the very bottom I think I'm gonna have to call this done after this next month I'll add makeup not makeup remover nail polish remover like acetone to it to help it liquefy a little bit and keep the thickness away but you can only do that so many times so I'm gonna try to use this up and the nail polish up in the next month also excuse my ponytail I feel like I never wear my hair up <laughs> and this is why <laughs> all right this choker perfume if this isn't done in the next 30 days, I'm going to fling myself off of a tall object. So this is the Toka Cleopatra perfume. And it's not that I don't like it. It's just that it's, it's, do you see how big this is? Like compare this to my head. It's a tiny, tiny little perfume. It's a tiny sample size. So the fact that it's taken me, well, really since January to get even this far on it. And we are very close to the bottom, which is why I'm saying if we're not done in the next even week, I'm gonna be pissed. Pissed. It's a beautiful smell. I just really hate rollerballs because um, you can kind of see that the the like liquid in here is very cloudy because as you roll it, see you're collecting like skin particles and hair and dirt on the ball and then it rolls back in and it collects in the liquid. Sorry, Luna's right here if you can hear her hard breathing. And it's pretty gross. So don't like rollerballs. Would never buy any samples that come as a rollerball again. 
but I would get this perfume in like a mid-size that has a spray. Okay, let's go into lips. So this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Milan, I don't know where we're at. It's really pretty. This is the actual color, but it's opaque packaging, so I'm just using this as I can. And there's still product, but it is getting a little thinner, I notice when I pull it out on the wand. You kind of have to go in for a second pump and then put it on your top lip. So this might be done in the next little bit, but I've just been carrying this around in my purse. And I'm going to be doing a What's in My Purse coming very soon because I've kind of switched between three in the previous month and a half and I've kind of settled on one that I've been loving for summer and I have been putting some weird shit in it so what's in my purse is coming throwback to old YouTube but this has been in there and I've actually been using it a lot a lot of the times the makeup that I put in my purse doesn't really get touched until the summertime because that's when I have to blot and reapply my blush and my lip because I'm a sweaty sweaty Bitch. Continuing with lips, this is the least amount of progress that I have ever had on a lip product. This is the Bite Beauty Verbena. Beautiful. There is nothing. I didn't, I don't think I used that once, but I did use the Hourglass Girl Influencer a lot. So we only have this much left. I've used it as a cream blush and on my lips, and it's going to be done next month. I guarantee that. And then this gloss from Gorgeous Cosmetics. It's clear, but you wouldn't know that anymore because I top it over like colored glosses. There's some okay progress. I feel like I've used this more than the progress shows. And then the last thing before the palette is this Smashbox 24-hour photo finish base. So... That's where we are now. I think because I can feel that there's an air bubble in it, I might be able to use this up in the next month. So next month might be a very good month for used up products. And then the very last thing, my modern renaissance and I did show this in my update for my finale project that I did with that collab and there was a lot of good progress, but there's even more now. So here's where we were before and here's where we are now. Done, 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 done. Pan, 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 pan. And then I don't have pan in these four. So um, goals as far as the next month are concerned, probably use up these to the um, warm, warm Taupe and Cypress Umber. I want to hit pan on Golden Ochre. And then I just really want to focus on these like warmer shades right here and save the pinks and reds for more fall winter time. But the battery's flashing because I talk too much and I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.